Welcome to another episode of Michigan Streets Needs. Here we are at the Detroit Institute of Arts in Detroit. Let's take a look around. Maybe like one ornate thing, like if I have like, like, like just that picture randomly somewhere. Yeah, just randomly, but like and like just because it so it draws attention to it. Other than that, okay, there. Yeah, you do look beautiful. You literally your skin complexion with the lighting. Oh my, it's phenomenal. You I need, need some to get blotting a lot sheets. Of, you need to no, you need you, blotting sheets. You look phenomenal. What are we looking at right here? Hold on. Portrait of myself. It's square Nick Cannon didn't. Doesn't play it this. almost look satanic? It kind of does. Ed Sheeran, you bastard. Photography didn't exist, obviously. So people really love to make portraits of themselves, super realistic, especially the rich. The secretary is attributed to George Blake. Uh, sorry, I'm reading off the notes, which you yourself can do. Do a b-boy pose. Do a b-boy pose. Alright, what can you tell us about this painting here? Um, this is Miss William Adams. This is an oil on canvas painting. It's supposed to be real to life, so I'm assuming this is how she looked in 1756. That one's called Chair. Okay, so we're at the house where Django and Chain was filmed. 
This is where the <laughs> shootout began, where Django battled against uh, Calvin Candy's uh, hunters. He managed to kill a lot of them, but unfortunately he was captured. But anyone who's seen that movie knows that Django came out on top in the end. Spoiler alert! Uh, <laughs> Yeah, this uh, rayon jacket. Uh, yeah. I'm also sporting this flannel from Old Navy. You're speaking uh, too loud. 